welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to say quickly, excuse the puffy hair. I just washed it and also, if you're wondering, like you're not going crazy, I definitely dyed my hair. Um, it's kind of a dark plummy cherry kind of colour. You can't really tell on camera, I don't think. But yeah, I my hair ended up turning green from the blue that I had in the side of my hair. Um, which I did on camera in one of my other videos and the only way to fix it was to go like this kind of dark red colour so please ignore that. You also might notice that I'm not wearing any makeup that's because today I really wanted to try out the James Charles mini palette. Now I don't know how many people have done a review of this but personally I really was interested to try the big one but I have two big uh, Morphe palettes already and they kind of just take up a lot of space and James's whole like review um, reveal of this palette was basically just saying that he made it smaller because a lot of people were saying that it was too big to take places. So I'm really excited, I've not tried the big one as I just said and I really want to see whether this palette is as good as other Morphe palettes. Um, because the two that I have are brilliant and I just want to know whether the quality of this one is as good. So let's see what it looks like inside. I haven't like opened it properly because I wanted to do it on camera and I haven't swatched anything or all that so oh my god okay this is what it looks like it's got the shiny like text on it the same as the front I think it looks the exact same I'm not sure um, and then the back has just got the little information -y bit and yeah, that's it. So let's have a look inside. Ooh, okay. I'm really excited to try this. A lot of the colour names are quite funny. And I really like actually that influencers are coming out more and more with palettes. Which I know some people will disagree with me on, but I just think it's a bit more fun. Like, companies don't tend to have kind of funny names or anything like that. They just tend to, like, describe the colour or whatever. But with influencers at the moment, they're kind of just doing, like, funny things that relate to them, which I really enjoy. So, I think what I'm going to start off by doing is um, swatching the colours. Um, and then we might do... I think what we're going to do is that challenge that James actually did recently um, on his, like, testing TikTok makeup things. It's basically where you put, like the number of the colours into a random generator and, pick, and then it, it like picks numbers for you and then you create an eye look from those numbers if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense when I actually do it. But yeah, so I, I might not swatch every single colour but I'm going to swatch a few of them. So I'll just give you a closer look at the palette. So I'm really interested, the one that's catching my eye the most is the purple one which is called uh, Artistry. Okay. So it looks like this upon first swatch, it's very nice actually. It's kind of got an iridescent thing. So. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's not bad. Kind of looks like this. I'm not sure if it's going to focus on the swatch. The other colour that I really want to see is Playground, which is this really lovely teal shade. So I'm going to take a swatch of that. They are very powdery, but then... Morphe um, shadows are kind of like that anyway, so put that next to that. Okay, that's kind of powdery. And I can already tell these are going to stain my eyes, so I'm definitely going to try and be careful with that. And then I think I'm just going to do one more swatch. Okay, so I really want to try the shade that's 518. It's kind of this orange shade at the top. They are very, very powdery. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I haven't got a colour like that. 
in my collection so I'm very excited to use that colour. Um, they all look really good so far so we'll just have to see how they perform on the actual eyes but yeah very excited to start using this palette because I've been waiting to film this video. They're definitely gonna stain my thing, like uh, my eyes, because this blue is just not coming off now. Okay, so I've got the random generator on my phone now. So there are 30 shades in the palette, so you type in 30 on maximum and then it generates. So 27 is my first number, which is. So 27 actually is the blue colour that I just swatched on my arm, weirdly. Um, so that's definitely not going to come off my eyes today. 30. Ooh, this is going to be a cool eye look. So 30 is this pink shade. So let me do a swatch of that as well. Just so we can get an idea. I'll put that next to the orange. Oh my god, okay, that's a real hot pink. I'm very excited actually to use these colours. And then the last one is 10. So what colour is that? So, number 10, oh, I just put my fingers all over the new mirror. This is why I'm not allowed new palettes. But number 10 is this shade, which is this nice, like, kind of blush. But it's got, like, pinky, iridescent kind of tones. Looks like that. Let's put that next to the pink. Okay, that one's a little bit underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can't even really see that if you compare it to the other pigments. Um, I'm going to just take a secondary swatch and try that again. Yeah, that one's a bit underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. That one doesn't really show up at all, really. But it's there. So I'm doing this blue, pink, and that little baby, baby pink, shiny shade. I don't really know how to explain that, but it's called... I'll give you... I'll give you the names of the three that I'm using, so I'll be using Sister, Playground and Skip. So, shall we get started? First things first, I'm going to wipe these swatches off of my arm because I'm probably going to get them everywhere otherwise. Okay, first things first, I'm going to put some concealer. This is the one that I've been using not only on my eyes but like under my eyes um, I'm just going to put some of that on my eyelids to give a bit of a primer um, and also to protect me from the blue shades which I think is going to stain my eyeballs I just like to go in with my finger um, I just find it packs the concealer a little bit better onto the eyelid. Okay, and also I'm going to be starting with the eyeshadow in terms of makeup because I don't know how much fallout that is going to be. Normally Morphe does have a little bit of fallout and there's already some coming out on the palette so this is just an easier way for me to clear it up. So I'm going to go around using these little brushes that are actually from Primark and sometimes Primark brushes are actually pretty decent and they they came in like a five pack I believe and this little tube I got two um, and I just think they're quite good because they're quite small if you can see so I just find it easier for when I'm trying to do something a bit more detailed I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna start actually with the pink I'm gonna put that in my crease Oh my god, that is pigmented, okay. I'm going to tap a little bit of that off. I'm going to go straight into here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that is very, very pigmented, okay. So now I'm going to take another one of those brushes, just a clean version, and go into Playground, tapping it off again because it does have a lot of fallout. 
And then I'm going to put that also into my crease. And taking it out a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because I'm going to go in and clear the edges um, a bit later, but... So as you can see as well, the blue is now mixing in with the pink and it's making like a little purple like transition in the middle, which is great when you're only working with a few colours. And then I'm also going to go back in with the pink and blend that through. And then, what I'm going to do next is take a clean little fluffy brush like this, and I'm just going to go over everything and blend it in. Once you're kind of happy with how that's blended and all of that, I'm going to take a small flat packing brush like this with some more of that concealer, and I'm just going to carve that out. So, how I'm going to start is kind of doing a cut crease so you're like here and then this is where I'm also going to make this a little bit cleaner I think the thing with this kind of eye look is you've just got to be really patient and doing things quite slow so just adding a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more instead of going straight in like and just I don't know rushing it a little bit you know actually this time last year I had never done a cut crease and well I'm finding it really hard to talk and do this at the same time yeah I'd never done a cut crease and I was working in a makeup shop and I remember saying that to my manager and she was like cut creases are really easy you know like, mm -hmm. they're not that simple when you're a beginner um, and I, I wouldn't have said like I was a beginner at makeup at that point but I was still learning techniques like that um, and now, again, I don't think I'm perfect at it, but I'm definitely a little bit more confident. Like, I think I know a little bit more what I'm doing. And it is just easier once you've done things a few times. But then I guess the goal is one day for it to be simple and easy for me to. And if she's a manager at a makeup shop, probably good that she does know how to do these things. Now I'm not quite sure whether this is cheating or not um, because I just don't know if there are any rules when it comes to this but I'm going to use the white in the James Charles palette just to set the cut crease. I'm just going to use my finger because I feel like I have a bit more control over it once I use, if I use my finger. So I think what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take that colour the, um, the sisters one and then I'm going to spray it with my collection primer actually I don't think it's a primer it's just a setting spray although it says prime primed and ready and I thought that that would be a primer and a setting spray but I don't think it is I'm just going to pack that onto the lid Ooh, I like that that is pretty and again, just do the same on the other eye. So, I've got the sister shade all over my eyelids now. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a second... Second? I don't speak like that. A second cut crease, because this is looking a little bit just... Mm, I want to take it to the next level. So, taking another one of these small brushes. Um, I'm going to kind of do the reverse. So, I'm going to take the pink and put that on the outer corner and then we're going to take playground again and just put that on the inner corner bit I'm not sure how people talk while they're doing this sort of thing like for me I just kind of forget and I'm like really focusing on actually just doing it okay so I'm kind of happy with that. I would go in and clean it up a bit. Um, so I'm going to take another one of these little brushes, take a little bit more of sisters, or sister, 
and just kind of go around it. Like I'm not going to use any more concealer because then it might get a little bit chunky. Um, but yeah, this, this will kind of do the trick. This is kind of what we're working with now. I'm pretty happy with it, so I think what I'm going to do is just do the rest of my makeup, which um, I'm probably just going to speed through, and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the James Charles palette. Okay, so this is where we're at with my makeup all done and everything and I'm just going to go in underneath a little bit. Um, again, I'm going to go playground first because we're just doing the opposite type thing. And then we're going to go in with the pink. And then last but not least I'm going to add a little bit more of Sister in my inner corner I think that that's the completed makeup look um, if you guys enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, I'm hoping to start uploading a bit more regularly again um, I think I'm gonna trial it for maybe every Saturday and then see how it goes. Um, I might adjust it to a different day if Saturdays aren't working out. But yeah, I would really want to get back into this because I do really enjoy doing YouTube, I really enjoy doing makeup and I just, yeah, I would want to get a little bit more regular with it again. So my final thoughts on the palette are I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, I was worried that it would be something that was a little bit... Mm, um, and the quality maybe wouldn't be as good but the quality is amazing um, Morphe always smash it out of the park and I am really actually happy with the colours that James has used um, something that also really surprised me is there wasn't a lot of fallout at least with the colours that I used um, yeah they didn't really like get everywhere or anything like that um, I'm just going to have to see how it is taking this off but I've really enjoyed it and I probably will do some more videos um, with the same sort of concept where I do the randomizer um, with this palette because I just think it would be really fun to experiment with colors that I wouldn't normally put pair together like this is kind of I got quite lucky like uh, these are the kind of colors that I like to wear anyway and um, it's not that 
that's scary doing pink and blue. But yeah, so if you guys would like to see more of that, then please comment down below. And yeah, this is the final makeup look. <laughs>